Good evening and thank you for staying up with us tonight. Questions continue to grow after a fire leaves nearly three dozen families without a place to call home. We continue with team coverage tonight with both Eyewitness News anchor Daniel Burbank and reporter Hannah Klein. Live on the scene, let's first check in with Daniel. And Daniel, you spoke with families scared to go back to other buildings owned by the same apartment company, right? Dave, that's correct. We spoke to people who they're scared just because if you look at the twisted metal behind me, they're worried that the same thing is going to happen to them. Wednesday's Regal apartment fire is believed to have started in the attic of the building. Some renters of other buildings owned by Patriot Services Group concerned about returning home, citing past maintenance concerns. This is my apartment, you know, and I, I shouldn't have to worry about stuff like that. 73-year-old Charlotte lives in the Summerfield building. She's staying with her daughter, worried about another fire. She's been at my house ever since. She's kind of scared to go back, so she'll stay a few more days, okay. and then we'll come up with a game plan. Chris Walker with Patriot Services Group telling Eyewitness News the fire alarms in the Regal Apartments did not go off the day of the fire. They got bad wiring, everything. The alarm goes off every week. Walker says the alarms did go off Monday, but it was only a false alarm. They believe the alarms were functioning the day of the fire. He says sensors may not have picked up the fire or the smoke, but they're working with the alarm company to understand how to avoid the same situation in other buildings. Back at the hotel, Lisa brought drinks and food to those trying to rebuild their lives. And Patriot Service Group set up a $100,000 fund to help people in hotels, food, and set up counseling services. Live in Charleston, Daniel Burbank, Eyewitness News.